Joining us tonight is Tom Fitton. He is the president of Judicial Watch. He has a new book. It's called A Republic Under Assault, The Left's Ongoing Attack on American Freedom. It's available for pre-order right now. We recommend it to you highly. Tom Fitton, good to see you. Uh, this is, first of all, explain to me how the former CIA director under investigation uh, by Durham, whether he's a target or not, is at the CIA headquarters for that investigation. Well, it sounds like old home week. Maybe they needed to review classified information. Of course, that could have been done in other locations. You know, my concern is it's been, what, 16 plus months since Durham was appointed, and only now is he questioning uh, Mr. Brennan. And, uh, you know, I, I think Mr. Brennan is probably calling it right. I hope he's wrong that he isn't a target. I think Comey believes he isn't a target. And they might think otherwise if there were serious investigations or a serious investigative approach uh, uh, evident, and I'm not seeing it. I don't see grand juries operating. I don't see a bunch of witnesses coming in. I don't see law lawyers car wa you know, complaining about uh, their clients being brought in before Durham. You know, you saw during the Mueller investigation, that's, that's, that's what a serious criminal investigation it looks like. Even though it was corrupted, you know when the government's bringing pressure on, on witnesses and subjects. And that is not evident here. And I don't think it's because Durham's sorry, being you... careful. I think because he's not, he's not doing the work. You think Durham is not doing the work. So what you're really saying, it seems to me is, if I'm inferring correctly, is that if he's not doing the work, this is, investigation is a sham. The Klein Smith prosecution was handed to him on a silver platter last year. And the guy finally pleads out, and in You're, the plea, we're talking about Kevin said, the FBI lawyer who altered the document about Carter Page, yes. obstruction right. of justice, you name yes. it. And he pleads out and says, well, I did it. Yeah, but I didn't mean anything. I thought it was true. So he's pleading out while denying he did anything wrong. And was allowed to do so wrong. by, yeah, and was allowed to do so again in a court by a, uh, a, the presiding judge of the FISA courts. Uh, which had been defrauded by this man, uh, who seemed to take it all, you know, in his, uh, you know, candy and syrup. It was ridiculous. And what and what did the government get for it? Nothing that we can see. Uh, Klein Smith looks like he's free as a bird. Uh, you know, I, I, I just wonder who you're going. You know, we're going to be comparing him to, and what and why uh, this FBI has taken 16 months to get to this point. I have to tell you, I'm a little concerned that the FBI is no longer an investigative agency, because if this is the way they operate, it's going to take them decades uh, to deal with anything of real complexity. This had a lot of moving parts. But the fact is, what is in the public, the public view right now is enough to bring charges against I don't know how many people. You name the number, 12, 24, it's ridiculous. Well, Klein Smith wasn't arrested, but they managed to arrest Stephen Bannon. Uh, the comparison and contrasting uh, to me is just remarkable. So absentee ballots, uh, the, uh, the president says, are all right. Uh, Mail-in uh, votes are not. Uh, we're watching, again, uh, more problems with uh, these uh, mail-in uh, votes. Uh, why in the world isn't somebody doing something about it? I, it's, it's really uh, deeply concerning that we're going into an election uh, on November 3rd, and I don't know how, how much uh, strength the Republican Party has at each uh, uh, voting place. And meanwhile, it looks like there may be about 80 million ballots that should be questioned uh, because of what we're seeing now just produced anecdotally in jurisdiction and state after state. 51 million ballots are going to be mailed out. 40 million plus ballot applications are going to be mailed out. Not the people who've asked for them, but just mailed out straight out. So you're going to have the system of wash and ballot and ballot applications. In the primaries, according to the Washington Post, just recently, across the country, they threw out at least 334,000 ballots. Rank them, push that up during the November elections. You're talking potentially millions of Americans relying on the mails to vote, mistakenly in my view, 
may disenf yeah. be disenfranchised. To me, it's a moral obligation to get people to vote in person because I don't want your vote or anyone else's vote, Lou, to be lost in the mail or not counted uh, because yeah. uh, our election well, system's been overwhelmed. Let, and everyone remembers the president talking about whether we might have to do the election over. He said that just off the cuff. Uh, the fact is that's exactly what's happening in Patterson, New Jersey, where the city council election, uh, there is, uh, there's allegation of mail-in uh, uh, right. voter fraud. Uh, and they're, so they're going to have to do that election over. And it's happening in jurisdiction after jurisdiction. Tom Fitton, great to have you with us. Good to see you. Thank you.